June 11th, 1955, French driver Pierre Levey was racing at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in France, his home country, and he was gunning it. He was out for revenge, World War II, he was racing Americans, Germans, what have you. He just, he did he just, he didn't care, man, he was flooring it. And that 300 SLR he was driving was a lot faster than all the other competing cars. That was mostly due to the aluminum alloy body. And another part of the weight reduction was drum brakes, whereas the other cars had disc brakes. The disc brakes allowed all the other cars to stop much faster than drum brakes. Just keep that in mind, this might be important later. Anyways, American driver Mike Hawthorne was passing the pit stop area, also gunning it when he realized he was being called in for a pit stop. So, instinctively, he slammed on his brakes, veered right across the track, tried to make it into the pit stop area. He then cut right in front of driver Lance Macklin. Macklin tried to swerve out of the way of Hawthorne, and he did, successfully. Unfortunately, he swerved right into the way of Pierre Levey, the French driver who was trying to pass him on his left in his really fast ass Mercedes. Mind you, this racetrack was built in 1923 when most cars had a top speed of 60 miles an hour. LeVay was not going 60 miles an hour. He tried to avoid Macklin, but unfortunately the right front side of his car rode up on the back of Macklin's car and launched him up in the air going 125 miles an hour. Not good. LeVay's car flew right over the barrier and into the crowd and it started to disintegrate as it tumbled through it. Even the engine block flew out of the car and just tumbled through the crowd. LeVay was crushing it. Poor taste, poor taste. Even the hood of the car flew through 100 meters of the crowd at head level. You can, you can figure that out. It is not good, not good. The backside of his car exploded as well kind of like on the barrier. It just like exploded right there, made a huge fire. Aluminum alloy doesn't help fires. Now you know that. Total, there were 83 spectator deaths along with 120 injuries. Unfortunately, LeVay was launched onto the track where he died on impact. At least it was quick. At least it was quick. It wasn't pretty, but it was quick. If that's not messed up enough, the race continued. They kept racing. They as if nothing happened. 84 people total dead, 120 injured, car on fire on the track. Keep her going, Cinder. Guess who won the race? Mike Hawthorne and his partner, Ivor Bueb. They won by five laps the next day. Dude caused like 84 deaths, 120 injuries, and then won the race. So what happened to Mike Hawthorne? Well, unfortunately, four years later, he was centered around some wet roads going way too fast in his Jaguar, and he skidded a wet corner, sent himself off the road, and crashed and died. He died. I Some might call that karma. Can I say that? Is that right? There's your crash course on the 1955 24 Hours of Le Mans disaster. One of the, if not the, most deadly crash at a race event in the world, in all of history. It's, it's not cool, but it's cool. Rest in peace, Pierre, Mike, all the spectators. Couldn't find a list of names. Found a lot of pictures. A lot of pictures. Don't look that up. Not good. Thank you for watching.